Lead for Florida State as we send you downstairs to Lindy. Six, Dakota Watson. He shows himself. Everybody's around there. Every guy. Dakota Watson coming up, turning it back in. That allows Kendall Smith to make the tackle. Well, Mickey right. Andrews is going to play a lot of guys today, Glenn, to try and keep them fresh. Sure, he understands altitude. He understands emotion. He's got to keep those guys ready to go. Second down and 11 for Max Hall. Opening drive of quarter three. Intercepted. Ripped off and going to the house. Greg Reed, you won't catch him. The true freshman knew it was coming, and he gets a hearty congratulations in the end zone. Greg Reed, hey, a, a, a DB against a tight end is unfair in space. You take a look, you're going to see Andrew George right there in the slot. He's just going to go up and he's going to step under. Little whip route. Now he does get pulled in a big way, and now he's looking. He get pulled out of his shoe. He actually stands up and tells the official, hey, I got pulled. No call off to the races. That was a veteran move by the rookie there. Absolutely. The freshman, Greg Reed, big timer. Got a lot of speed. Gets away with one. 63 yards unofficially on that interception return. Hopkins tacks on the extra point, and look at this. Unranked Florida State. They started the year ranked 18th. They are roughing up BYU in the Cougars' house. Reed with all that speed all the way to touchdown. Got a couple of brothers who played the NFL. Continuing the sort of family tradition of consistent but not flashy play along that front line. Coaches love that. Yeah, they sure do. They like hard workers, and that's what they got. But again, you know, in the backfield, stops a guy for no gain, but he lets him go, and he gets three or four. It makes the, now it's second down. Now we're going to be third and one, and this is exactly what Bronco Mundenhall talked about. Third down. And when you're sitting there at third and inches, it's a lot easier to get it done and stay on the field and punish that defense. Credit Florida State. And I'm telling you right now, credit their offensive line. They've done a great job all day. Sean Doman made the tackle on Kasparowski, the ACC Offensive Lineman of the Week, the tight end who had a big game a week ago. Third down conversions. How's that for letter perfect for Florida State? That offensive line, you know, if Hudson comes back next year and doesn't go NFL, they'll all return. And they are very good. It's been a nice showing for Lonnie Pryor, a pair of rushing touchdowns in the first half, and he carves his way for first down yardage there inside BYU territory. Well, Rick Trickett, the offensive line coach for Florida State, has just done a great job across the board. You take a look at Datko and Hudson, McMahon, Spurlock, and Sanders. That's that group. And what they do, they're not big, they're not flashy, but they're all mentally tough, and they're all scrappers. And I think this might be the first time a BYU team has found guys that are their equal in the scrappy, tough department. Trickett's son, Clint, is a very highly regarded high school quarterback prospect as the Knowles work out of the eye. Ponder down the sideline for Fortson, jump ball, and he reels it in. Jarman Fortson. Inside the 20. That play is by virtue of the last play. You run the ball at zone defense. You crush it. What do you do then? You get man on the corners because they got to put eight in the box. They do that. Fortson is just too big a body out there against Brian Logan. Fortson stands what? Six foot three, 220. And what, and what is Logan? Five, six? That's a mismatch. I'll take it all day long. Fortson still learning. He drifts in and out. Just a 20 year old sophomore, but again, enormous potential. Play action, Ponder. Porowski. Submarine there by Brian Logan. 37 14, Florida State here. We send you to College Football Central on versus Al Troutwig. That is right, Al. The quiz comes to the Wildcats of Arizona. Uh, yeah, they're going to be playing there. And I'll tell you what, there's Jaquiz Rogers. There's another guy that might get himself in the Heisman talk. So far, playing great all year. Al Roland and Christian at College Football Central talking about Javid Best today as Jones is knocked down to the turf close to the five. Bradley with another. This is Jones to the short side of the field. Cougars waiting for him. Soloto close by amidst the host of tacklers. 
Nick Sooto, 37 in the blue, a guy who's found a home for himself at the defensive end position. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he's a guy that was a tight end, and then he was a